All right, we need, man, these are dirty. Just got done qualifying, sweating. Sweating like crazy. Gonna do a unboxing here. Got this one for, what was it, $18 and change. What was the exact amount here? $18.29. Online auction win right here, $18.29. I really got it for one vehicle, so we'll see. Give everybody a moment. Let's see, this is a 10.03 uh, Pacific time Thursday morning for me, so lunchtime for you guys on the East Coast. See if we have any better luck doing it at this time. It's kind of hard for me to do it this time, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's see. We're in this. There is one in here. Me. Great. Perfect. I guess I count for something. All right. So um, let's make this also. I'm going to take care of this right now. Indy 500. I'm going to run an Indy 500, which eventually will probably turn into at least a on a semi-constant base league. But for now, one race for bragging rights, you're going to send in new cars. So make sure you're sending in cars. You don't, if you don't get it, you're not going to get them back. So <laughs> make sure you're sending in cars um, that, you know, you can part with. The only thing they have, the only qualifications they have to fit on the orange track and no weight added to the outside. I don't know how you even would add weight. You draw to rivets on those cars, how you add it on the inside since there really is no cab or cockpit or or anywhere for there to really add weight. You'd still be, you'd have to, I don't know. Uh, if you can, go for it. If you want to, I don't care. But we're going to run an Indy 500 in the sub-4 RA channel, so I need to re-edit the title of this. So, for example, here's an Indy car that would qualify right here. Johnny Rutherford, Johnny Lightning. Indy car. It doesn't have to be Johnny Lightning. Um, it can be one of the Hot Wheels, uh, Formula Ones or Formula whatever. Any Hot Wheel car that's in the uh, design. I don't have those Indy cars. Let's see if they're in here. Here. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about with those Indy cars. Hot Wheels, Matchbox. As long as they fit on the orange track uh, and no weight added to the outside, send them in. You're going to send them in. Rhino, P.O. Box 577-976, Modesto, California, 95357. The deadline for these will be May 19th. Okay. Have to have them in by May 19th. And like I said, um, for now it's going to be the Indy 500, but hope to have at least a semi, um, semi current league, you know, race it more than just once type thing. Maybe not as often as the NASCARs. Uh, so John Mueller in the house. What's up, bud? That's what I'd like to do. Uh, remember, we got the truck series also going to take shape. Trying to get through these NASCAR series, the NOS and the YouTube Cup. We're almost at the halfway point of that. And then hopefully in the coming weeks here, I'm going to be able to get the races out in a more consistent basis rather than every like two or three weeks. Hopefully I'm going to do one one week, one the other. I uh, expect a lot of big changes coming in NOS racing in the series. Um, going forward, to keep it easier on me. Uh, just be a lot easier right now. I mean, YouTube Cup, we got 50 something cars in there. Not going to say no to cars, send them in, going to race them, probably limit it by YouTube Cup and then maybe another bottom tier league for the cars that aren't in the top, however many. Jesse Marino, wow, on break with Alimony here. What's up, Alimony? Just qualified you guys. All right, since you're there. Since you guys are there, since you're here, there, on break, let's take a look. We got Alimony and we got Rico Singleman. Just did qualifying. Let's dump them out. Nick Devers just got here. Alimony. 
There you are, bud. 44 car. Mattel Motorsports. Not doing so hot this season as Mattel Motorsports. Having a lot of El Recos. Now, the uh, our last race winner. There he is, Rico Singleman. And that 43 Pontiac. No, not Pontiac. Yeah, Pontiac Grand Prix. My bad. Almost called it an Olds. So we got Rico Singleman and Alimony. Carrera 782 doing off to a slow start, but really picked it up last race. Also joining the likes of the NOS series because of his win in the YouTube Cup, Dick Trickle. Yep, that's right. Dick Trickle. For those of you who think I'm just making up the name, look it up, Google it, Wikipedia, real NASCAR driver, Dick Trickle. He won at Darlington for the YouTube Cup over Kevin Harvick and a thrilling finish. What's up, Nick? Truck to send you. It's real truck. It's a real truck, like a Toyota Tacoma that I used to have at one point. Boy, do I miss it! Wow, on break with Alan Mooney here. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so uh, I need to get up this uh, NOS selection video. Have qualifying up Saturday. I'm gonna try to do the race Saturday and hopefully have it edited and up by Sunday. That's the goal. Oh, NASCAR truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. We had a couple NASCAR trucks sent in. A couple NASCAR trucks sent in. Whoops. It's not a truck. Oh. There it is. A couple NASCAR trucks were sent in by 3D Botmaker. That's why I've kind of opened it up to any truck with a number. Doesn't matter because these NASCAR trucks are kind of hard to find. As as far as I know, they're not currently being made, or if they're being made, they're extremely hard to find. So we got the Indy 500. You want to get in an Indy car? Um, need to have that in. I pick up one here. Hold on, guys. No, I did. I don't think I did. Indy cars in by. May 19th, so I can have a uh, qualifying selection video and the race by maybe the night before. I don't know, the night before the Indy 500. And then maybe we'll have Lowe's that same weekend, so we'll also do a double NOS and Indy on the diecast circuit as well as the real racing. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to do that. We'll see what happens, though. Time is always the issue. You believe it? Casey Atwood, right now, your points leader in NOS Racing. Got booted out of the 19. The whole team folded after that. New team joined. He got signed in the 7 car. He's the points leader now. All right. Here we go. A little $18.29 haul. Got this for the... Sounds like the packing leaves a little bit to be desired. We'll see. I'm going to bust it open right now and see what we got. Here we go. Yeah, right, here we go. Not her. They sent me my invoice. Nice of them. Oh, there is some sort of packaging. All right. First up, we got, we got an old Tonka bulldozer. Copyright 1994. Kind of cool. Actually has wheels on the bottom, so it's not. Next up, that's a big one. What is this? Oh, nice. Yeah, set the box down. Uh, let's see. Well, it's a vet. Got a Corvette. Opening doors. 
hood open. Nope, no opening hood. This is New Ray 132 scale with a copyright of 1999. Chevy 98 Corvette on the bottom. Like you're going to be able to see that. What a fool. New Ray. Not sure. Is this a pullback? Nope. No pullback. No friction car. Just a 132 scale. All right. We'll take that. It's seen better days, but hmm, mm, we got a bunch of crap caught in the axles. That's why it's not spinning too well. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. Let's dig in there a little bit further. All right, trying to go off the feel of the card that I specifically wanted out of this lot, making sure I don't get it. All right, we got a Mini Cooper. Eight Mini Coopers. Sorry if you drive one. I don't like them. But at least the door is open on this. Is this a pullback? It's got to be a pullback. Mini Cooper scale 128. It's a Ken Smart, so it's got to be a pullback. Let's see. Can you hear it? Yep, it's a pullback. Let's do the boiler test. I don't think this will be any of... Chris's cars on the Ghost Circuit channel in any pullback races. I am willing to bet it will not beat any of them. Well, it won't be the champ, that's for sure. Kinsmart, you can find a lot of Kinsmarts at uh, CVS and uh, Walgreens. Uh, let's, get, let's get that out of there. All right, there we go. Now we got a cool one, literally. Nice. No, not nice. So this guy. Hmm. I don't know why the back wheels are locked up. They roll here. They spin fine. I mean, it could be better, but then let's get the track piece of track out. Yeah, see? Yeah, come on. Yeah, well, maybe just a little bit of rub action with the body. I don't know. Don't have time to figure that out now. Next up. All right, here's a generic monster truck, Days of Thunder, made in Chin, Polytech, blah, 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 blah. It's got suspension, though. It's pretty cool. I'll give it that. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. If this, I think this, it might be too wide, though, for fitting on a... Uh, I have another piece of track. No, of course not. That'd be too convenient. This was eBay. I mean, I've never even bought Hot Wheels on Etsy or cars or anything like that. I think I only bought a couple things ever on Etsy. All right, that one leaves a little bit to be desired. Next up. Mm, nope, that's not it. <laughs> We got crustacean. Crustacean's got the plastic base. I don't know if this was ever made with the metal base, but eventually, let's see, getting these with the, yeah, no, nope, those aren't straight. Front ones aren't. Yeah, back ones are a little wobbly too. Finding these monster jams with straight axles, I guess it could be worse. Very hard to do. Next up. Got a generic loader. Made in Chin. Kind of cool, though. 
Still kind of cool. Those have working parts. So you can't discredit it too much. At least whoever did use it before didn't totally destroy it. Generic track. Well, maybe not. Who is this? Made in Huiyang, Chin. JLL. Johnny Lightning. No. Now we got a tractor. One way or the other. We got a tractor out of it. Is this a friction? Just move? What is this? Is this a bomb? What's going on here? I don't know. Done roll. I know that much. All right, I think we got two left. So far, you're probably thinking, boy, you got ripped. <laughs> this won't change your mind either. We got a cat. Another loader. This one actually rolls. Rolls pretty good. Won't roll on the six lane, though. Not even close. Does roll really well, though. I'm kind of disappointed with this guy. I was going to use him for something. But current state, not going to happen. I don't get it. I will. All right. And the last, and this is what I bought this for. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to show it. There you go. Three, two, one. Show it. Oh. Pretty nice. Anybody know what this is? Pretty nice. Let's see. The condition seems to be. Yeah, it's not gem mint by any means, but for being like 30 years old. Yep, this is a Bigfoot. Do we know what series this is from? Everything's intact. It just has a couple flea bites on the hood. Not too bad. At the good years. That looks pretty original. I'm confused on original. This is pretty nice looking. It's got just a couple flea bites. If you can tell on the roof there. Anybody know what series this is from? Or who makes this? I saw this in the auction and I thought, all right, man, I want this. These alone go on eBay for 20 bucks. First generation Chromebook. What's this? <laughs> I'm on the keyboard. Jack. Nice. All right. You guys know what this is from? Remember seeing Bigfoot and USA at truck and tractor pool. Oh, crap. Sorry. Got a little dust on the, on the bed back there. Couple flea bites, but other than that, I mean, this thing's in rolls well. It's in nice condition. This one here sat in it was a big monster truck shop in Zali. Where is Zali? Zali. <laughs> Gally. <laughs> All right. This right here, before there were Monster Jams, Matchbox had a line of monster trucks in the mid 80s. And this is, this is one of the ringers from that. Um, trying to think of the name of the dang trucks now. Superchargers? What were they called? <laughs> I think it's the superchargers. 
Um, you're not going to be able to tell in the base that it is Matchbox, but it is. I still have a couple. Big Buckle Rama. Dude, where you been, man? I haven't seen you in a long time. Zomg? What's Zomg? So bad. I miss so much. Yeah, you missed a lot of racing. We even have a YouTube Cup League now. I haven't seen you in a long time. Bigfoot. So what do you guys think? $20 haul? Overpay? I don't really think so since this thing goes for about twenty twenty five alone delivered. These others all uh, been streaming on Twitch a lot. Uh, video games are, I understand Twitch isn't just about video games now. You can do other things in there too. So we got Bigfoot. That was a highlight. I'll be able to use this guy, Crustacean. And some of these other Johnny Come Latelys. Starting to be a little bit smart about this instead of hoarding this and winding up with Sanford and Son. I'm going to start throwing these on. Uh, if it's something I can't use or really use as a price package, I'm going to recoup some of my money spent and put the rest on offer up. I'll see if this guy fits on the track and see how he runs, which is about games, but they also allow certain types of live content. All right. So I understood that they do more than just video games now. Gaming and some creative stuff such as doing painting and detailing on Hot Wheels Moonlight. Nice. Yeah, since I last, you probably last on here, uh, I ventured out into Instagram under Legion underscore of underscore diecast, putting some stuff on there too. Been kind of hard, I mean, especially lately getting anything else on there. I wish this thing would roll better, but I might even have one back here and haven't even gotten to it yet. Nice. Got the Mini Cooper pullback. Do the boiler test. Yeah, I don't think you'll beat any of... Uh, Have them on snippets. Getting track is ready. Hmm. Yeah, have them on snippets. Getting track is ready. I need to fix this guy. Get a wad of crap stuck in the axles. And then this little Tonka guy right here. Copyright 94. Oh, Ross. I guess I'm missing out on Twitch. So, I'll take it for uh, 18 and change. This guy ended up being in pretty good condition. Never know. See him on picture and hope it's what it <laughs> what it turns out to be. We're building tracks. Yeah, do that. Take some pictures and whatnot. Wait. All right, so um I don't know how what you guys have caught, but there is going to be a mail in. Um, yeah, it would be. Uh, there's going to be a mail in, <clears throat> just like the NOS Racing. You send your cars in, they'll stay in my possession. I'm a hoarder like that. Uh, we'll have an Indy 500 race, so the cars need to be in by May 19th. You need to send them to Rhino, P.O. Box. Five seven seven nine seven six Modesto California nine five three five seven May nineteenth so that gives you about three weeks or so a little over three weeks something like that I don't know uh, to get them in so I can do uh, qualifying 
and maybe a little bit of testing, qualifying, and then uh, selection thing for everybody to pick a car, get the race up, edit it, and have it edited by before the race, maybe that Saturday night before. Uh, we'll see. Uh, going to get the selection process up for NOS racing. Need to get that up here after I'm done here. Did qualifying today. Second in points right here, Dale Jr. Second in points. Right behind this guy, Casey Atwood. He got dumped in the 19 at the end of last year. That whole team folded. Team Dodge takes over for Team Everham because Everham can't finish anything. And they re-sign Atwood. Keep Kane. Kane's doing so-so. Atwood is blazing down the track right now. The Dagobah system. All right. So um, I also mentioned there's going to be, at the end of the season, there will be changes coming up for NOS Racing, YouTube Cup, and so on and so forth to make it easier on me and hopefully a little bit more enjoyable. So I'll probably take a little bit of a break after the season, at which time uh, I still need to keep going with the King of the Misfits, thinking about changing up the format for that and so on and so forth. But uh, thinking about doing like a qualifying runs to kind of promote the channel on Instagram, do qualifying runs, place them on there, and then there'll be one final race with the, like the six heat winners on YouTube. So I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like that idea. Like I said, we'll see. No, no worries, man. Glad to see you back, buddy. So for now, I think that's it, guys. I mean, there's a heck of a lot more. I still need to get to um, Dirty Deeb. I need to get the Dirty Deeb's box. We'll do that. And uh, uh, speedometer? No, I I just put the I just put the video up. Uh, it's kind of giving it a few days to let people comment. I mean, we got we got some heavy hitters in there with race grooves, ghost jerker, and whatnot chiming in about it. It's something I didn't put a whole lot of thought into. I just thought it was kind of cool to use. Um, kind of interesting seeing some of the reactions. But uh, when it comes down to it, good old buddy old pal of ours right now is working on something a lot more accurate. So that's the other thing I got to get, the buy-in race. We got the buy-in car still right here to take care of. That'll be after this NOS race. I need to quit my job and become a full-time racer. It's this bottom line, it is what it is. <laughs> Mr. Mom's video, I had no clue. I just figured it worked. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, you know, once they do the presentation and it, it makes sense. Now, if I had a, if I had run the qualifying on a you know, clear day, calm day or whatever. And the cars ran what they did. I probably would have been a, put up a bigger eyebrow, but since the conditions were extremely variable with the, with the sprinkling coming down, the wind gusts would pick up from times, you know, and just, that's what I attribute it to with some of those cars. You know, some of them I figure would be fast, but <laughs> I'm sure that will work out racing full time. Yeah. That'll go over real good, especially since I need another 200 something subscribers to monetize the channel so I can get another 10 bucks a month or whatever it is. Oh, I mentioned the weather and shrugged. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, so did I. I didn't. I, I kind of just attributed some of the times because there would be times if you go back and watch that video where uh, it'd be a gust of wind or whatever comes up. And I know it probably slowed down a couple of cars, but. You know, it is what it was. You know, in the end, I still think that's still the car. I, even though qualified eighth and not knowing what we know about the speedometer now, I still picked that Cadillac 16 and I picked that funny car to make it to the finals. I just had a feeling about those guys. So I don't know. Um, I still think in the end, the fastest car won. It didn't really affect, affect that at all, in my opinion. I mean, Hell, the that Cadillac had to get through <laughs> the number one seed, that uh, Chevelle had to get through that Chevelle, and then three straight funny cars. 
he had to get through uh it was john's and then it was ghost jerkers and then it was josh's he had to get through three street funny cars so he definitely won it or he definitely yeah he won it what a fool he definitely won it but he definitely deserved it uh, closing in, I picked up another six lane and a bunch of tracks. So now I can start distilling down some faster cars in your way. Sweet. Yeah, so in terms of qualifying, at least for this one, buy in one, you know, I don't think I'll be using Mick. Mick Foley's here. Mick Foley. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm going to be one of these days to get this garage cleaned out and then set up some sort of permanent track. Uh, we'll see what happens, though. That'd be nice. For now, it's I kind of like racing outside, though, too. I like being outside more than inside. Cactus Jack, yeah. Bang, bang! Animal Claw! That guy was a performer. What's Rhino? Rhino is a person. He has on glasses right now. Bang, bang. And a hat. He races cars on YouTube. What's up, Jose? Jose's in the house. Jose also uh, probably better known here. The Mandible Claw in years. Yeah, back when wrestling was fun. Jose Navarro also known as the driver of the 27 mcdonald's car golden showers i mean golden arches racing yeah dude love was awesome al pastor jose navarro what's up buddy i saw jim duggan <laughs> saw him wrestle quick steps in the house quick steps johnny quick steps johnny quick steps too you guys are on break everybody's on break today you guys are taking breaks. What time? 10.35? Ah, kind of an early break for you guys. Or are you on lunch? You guys are probably on lunch, huh? Yo, the ultimate warrior. The power of the warrior. I'm off today. Yep. Jose and Johnny on lunch. Quick steps. What's up, guys? Let them know I won't be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Just kidding. Yep, my off day today, too. Enjoying it. Got qualifying in for NOS Racing due to do the selection video. Um, today, you need to get that up because you are going to need to make your selections by probably Sunday midnight. A sing fan? You like to sing? The Dingo Warrior. Everybody's off today. William Lewis is even off today. Watching the Warriors <laughs> ever talking about. It. Yeah. Yeah, the Stinger. Tell you what, watching wrestling promos now, thought they were kind of cool back then, but did not even appreciate them. Especially guys like Macho Man. I mean, just hilarious. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Didn't appreciate them then. The Ultimate Warrior was the Dingo Warrior. And uh, what was it called? World Class Championship Wrestling with the Von Ericks. Yeah, I'm watching those are the best. Ric Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair gave great promos too. The Nature Boy. Stalin and Bro Valen. Limousine Ryan Jeff Lyon, Crazy son of a gun. Woo! Gotta love him. Kevin Sullivan was off his rocker. Big time. That guy scares me. The cream of the crop. <laughs> the cream of the crop was the best promo probably ever, ever. As Jose is referring to, if you've not seen cream of the crop promo by the Macho Man, YouTube it. Got the Daytona 500 going on in the street here. If you have not seen the cream of the crop promo, best promo ever. Reaction with Mean Gene. It's the best. 360 degrees. Harry Von Eric. Yep. Go Hawks. 
Ric Flair or the, <laughs> the other guy. I couldn't stand him as a kid, the Dusty Rhodes. The American Dream! First time I met Ric Flair, Ric Flair said, I want to use small packages as my finishing maneuver. I told Ric Flair, you never ever want to be associated with small package. That never really happened, but I could picture that happening. The Road Warriors. This guy scared the crap out of me. Loved him, though. The thing about the Road Warriors is they like the way of the Dusty Rose in American Dream like to get blood all over his face because he used to blade. The Steiner brothers. Ah, those guys were rough. I don't think anybody really liked them in real life. They were pretty, uh, <laughs> they were pretty rough in the ring. Stiff. Not like that, but they were not good workers. Jantine said to open up on five. No, nine, nine, register nine. I am on nine from now on. From now on, I am nine. That's my Twitch channel. Twelfth Fan Man. Nice. The Steiner. Steiner Recliner. Big Papa Pump. N O nine. Number nine. Nine. Du hast mich nine. Man, this uh, video has went into a lot of different directions. <laughs> the Bigfoot, baby. Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein? Peace out, Jose. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Oh, crap. There goes the track. What the hell? Oh, I should have got... Hey, Jose, you still there? The Grave Digger. Locks together now. Sweet. Jose, you still there? Jose. You still there? Come on. You got three minute window. You still there? The Grave Digger. Got to see the some of the monster jams came to the Stanislaus County Fair uh, where I live a couple years ago. I need to post that video too. I'm so far behind and everything. It's ridiculous. They had uh, the Enforcer. The Enforcer was there. Uh, who else was there? Time flies. The Enforcer, time flies. Crap. And then who's Time Fly's daughter? Uh, Wild Child? I don't know. She was there. They're pretty cool. I got to post that video two years later. They're going to the Hot Wheels convention in Cali. Uh, I'd like to make it there one day, but now, nah. what is that in October? Don't they always have that in October, or is that sooner? It's actually a group on Facebook. Well, not really a group. It's more guys that live in the area. They have a they have a Hot Wheel collector meeting. Oh, did I get it going? Nope. Dude, what is it? Do the boiler test fine, but it won't roll on anything. It won't roll on track. Anything. Uh, anything. Anyways, they uh, they meet up. The very last Sunday every month. I haven't been able to make it yet, but it'd be kind of cool to go auction stuff off and all that. Now, if you guys are on, uh, some of you guys might know him too. It's on uh, on Instagram. Uh, Mike's Collectible Seven Eleven does a lot of customizing and finds some crazy stuff. Also collects a lot of those um, pop Funko Pop things. I always make fun of him. He Man and the Loincloth. Uh, he's the one that kind of sets that up. If you've seen him on Facebook, which he's got 10,000 followers now. So I'm sure somebody in here probably big about system. That's probably no, oh, I come across him. Um, but he, he puts it up since Stockton. Yeah. I don't know about Stockton, but, uh, yeah. 
Is there something in the wheel well, like a piece of die cast flashing? Uh, nobody's flashing here. I don't know. Not that I can tell. I mean, it looks... It looks clean. Oh well. Yeah, I need to start customizing these drills. It's so might be so much easier if this was just a stinking Phillips screw. Take it out. I like to experiment with these bigger wheels like this on some cars that it would work on. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything, but who knows? We'll get it figured out, or not. One of the, one way. I don't know, guys. But okay, Indy 500. Indy 500. You want to be entered? Rhino PO Box five seven seven nine seven six Modesto California nine five three five seven. The only. The only restrictions is it has to fit on the orange track and you can't add any weight to the outside and going forward in season two of NOS racing that's how it's going to be also you can send in cars that have wheel swaps axle swaps whatever you want to do to make it faster and hopefully by then I'll have the turns at Darlington and Daytona Nick's helping me out with Daytona uh, hopefully those will be a lot more secure Loose cars packed. Okay. Yeah. Loose cars. Yeah. Indy 500. Loose. Opened. It doesn't matter. Custom. Nick's already sent in a custom one. Uh, hold on a second. Now that I mention it. All right. Oh, with a bunch of other stuff. He's going to have his own race here when I get the moment. All right. So, for example, this one is, I forget the exact name of this guy. There we go. He's even got the, the Tyrell in. Got the Tyrell. Here is, there's a Matchbox one. That one fit on the track. I hope so. A short turn? Yeah, go for it, man. Oh, salt. I don't know if homie's going to fit. Ooh. We'll see. There's one from Cheen. This one's a Cheen. This guy uh, was this Thunder Street, something like that. I bet he'll be quick. Here's one of the more current ones, uh, F1 Racer. Will the green light brand Indy Car diecast fit? That I don't know. F1 Racer, yeah, Formula One in Indy. I don't care. Open wheel. That's all that matters. I mean, look at this open wheeler. Look at that one. Boiler test. Rolls well. We got the no fear one. Now, oh, here's another one. Uh, the what you call it? Oh, this one's different. Winning formula. Yeah, this one's winning formula. So fantasy open wheel F1 Indy clones. Yeah. So for these, mixing in duplicates, I'll probably take the faster of the two in qualifying, something like that. I don't know if I've ever raced winning formula. Not that I remember. 
No, not the outlaws. I mean, the outlaws won't fit on the track. Well, are you talking Hot Wheels outlaws? No. Well, we might save that one for a different. We might have that league too. I don't know. I got to catch up on what I currently have before I get into anything new. But uh, you can see uh, definitely a World Outlaws Sprint League. That'd be pretty sick. I don't know if I could uh, <laughs> make it turn out how they do with going around the turns, but oh, when you form the FTEs, nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah, and then let me show you if you haven't seen it already. safe spot in that box Nick also sent in this custom Johnny L right here you got any I sent to whomever just raced my customs as me custom 80 car Nick Devers green and black nice It is like F1 Indy, I would allow it. This one looks to be pretty fast. That is a good one. Goes back in the box. Yeah, take it on that track. Now, I got a pretty good following in this one. A lot better time, apparently. I'm uh, usually off anyways this day, so works out good. Works out really good. All right. Johnny Rutherford is going to win because I'm here. Yeah, you brought the luck. Could that be the winner? You know, really, I want to take this pace car out as kind of a prop for it, but uh, I don't want to leave it in there. Just cut out the Johnny Rutherford car and use that for uh, the next male win, dude. Or I could take it out and then use it as a King of the Misfits car as long as it's open. Loose car, any King of the Misfits would qualify. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. All right, guys. Love to stay in chat. I may send in a Helo Castor Navis. Nice. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Winner's got to drink milk. It is indeed needs pace car. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> the blade is like right there. I know. It is. It's literally. Bam. With parade and all. Yeah, I hope that one, I have a, something different planned for the Indy, so hopefully it'll work. Uh, find out when the cars get in here. I could probably test it now, set it up now with uh, what Nick has sent in. That'll probably work for now. But speaking of for now, uh, Laundry's calling my name. Got to take care of that and all the other good stuff for today. Went longer than I thought I would at first. Uh, Jumped on Instagram and I think JJ hopped in there for like a second and uh, JJ Roberts and then uh, oh crap I gotta put this one back too and then uh, didn't see him after that could have been at work I'm not sure but all right guys Ooh, I don't know why all right guys I'm gonna head out thanks for tuning in don't forget Indy loose open. Um, in package, it doesn't matter as long as it fits on the track. No weight added to the outside. You're going to send it to Rhino PO Box 577-976, Modesto, California 95357. You won't get the car back, but you'll be in the Indy 500 on the Sub 4 RA channel. So check that out. 
hope to be getting a new trailer for the channel too uh describing sub four ra not sub four because that's makeup it's not what this channel is about guys it's not about makeup so I'm trying to explain the name of the channel okay and how it all started so to speak <laughs> all right guys that's it look for the selection video for nos racing so you can make your selection whether it's uh our points leader casey atwood or somebody struggling big time in well, no, i guess not that big well it probably is hush struggling here's a guy's probably here's a guy who is stinking it up right here last in points daryl waltrip he has completely fallen off the map will he turn it around at darlington we'll see all right guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you at the next one Peace.